What's up, soldiers? Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me. Today, something new, unique, and so tasty. Braised duck wings. And all I'm doing now is putting the finishing touches. We've got some more of that sticky glaze. Well, it turned out to be a glaze, but it's more or less from the, um, the braising liquid that we reduced down. We got orange, and we got ginger, and we got all that Caribbean herbal notes in there. And... We're just going to finish it off now with a little bit of greenery. Just a little bit of pop pop. Stay tuned. Braised duck wings. You're going to love this one, man. So with these duck wings, what I did was I cut them in half. So we got the drumette and we got the flat. And I also removed some of the tips. I washed it with the juice of half of a lime and cool water. And I drained it. That is what we have here. And now it's a very simple marinade. And you don't need to marinate it overnight or anything, half an hour to an hour, and that's all it will take. But for now, let's, let's jump on the marinade. Yes, I did wash my hands after I touched the uh, zapotere in with some sea salt. And if you don't have sea salt, you want to just regular iodized salt. If that is what you have, that is what ye shall rock. Black pepper. And if you've seen me make, make stew chicken, stew pork, stew beef, any one of these sort of brown stew sort of recipes, this is exactly what we're starting off here with. A little Worcestershire. We've got a tomato that's chunked up. An onion which is chunked up. And the reason why I have it in big pieces here is all that's going to break down as we braise it. And the final ingredient. One of the key things when it comes to cooking Caribbean, Caribbean green seasoning. We've talked about that before. And that Caribbean green seasoning is just a puree or a blend of all the herbs along with seasoning peppers, garlic, and all that nice teas we like in our food. So this, to tighten it up, let's go in for the zoom, 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 that we like using in our meat dishes, our fish dishes, seafood, all that stuff like that, vegetarian dishes, very versatile. In Haiti, a piece. In the Spanish speaking Caribbean, we got sofrito. So all we would do now is give that a mix, let it sit for about half an hour, and then we're gonna jump right away to braising these duck wings. And I know you, you, you're watching the duck wings and thinking, why is that way Chris get all them duck wings? At the Asian supermarket, you head over there, no matter where in the world you at, and tell them Uncle Chris sent you for duck wings, they may give you a sort of a quizzical, sort of what kind of madman kind of thing you asking. But nobody really know Chris that well out there. But anyhow, Asian market, all right? So as I stir this, a couple little tips I want to share with you. Number one, there is about close to four pounds of duck wings here. Use a bigger bowl. Don't follow me. Just use a bigger bowl because I got to be too careful here. And I man, I man don't like being careful. I man that's like rocking it when I'm in the kitchen. And two, go through the wings and keep an eye out for feathers. If you see any sort of baby feathers and all that, pull that out. Do not... And I repeat, do not ever serve a Caribbean person a piece of chicken with skin with feather on there. You'll never hear the end of it and they will never want to eat by your house again. Unless you don't want them coming back for dinner, well then yeah, I'll give them that piece of chicken feather. We've got a nice big heavy pot, high heat, a tablespoon and a half of olive oil. If you want to use vegetable oil, if you want to use coconut oil, if you want to use whatever oil you want to use, you rock it. I just tossed in there a tablespoon, a heaping tablespoon of golden brown sugar. Here's what's going to happen here, ladies and gentlemen. The sugar is going to melt. Remember, the heat is on high. Dry spoon, by the way. No water. If you have water, you're going to run into problems. That's going to jump back. Oh, yeah, you're going to get burned. Don't do that. Dry spoon, dry pot, oil, sugar. It's going to melt. It's going to go frothy. It's going to go a deep amber in color. Once you achieve that color and pay close attention to Uncle Chris as we do this step, you will add the seasoned duck wings to the pot. If it goes black, completely black on you, turn off the stove, shove it aside over there somewhere, allow it to cool down completely. Wash it and start over. If you do not do that, you risk having very bitter tasting duck wings yeah so we're just waiting for this to melt down and do those steps i mentioned 
So you notice the amber we got there, but most of it is not amber yet. So we're gonna move that. Stir that around a bit. It will get smoky. This is one of them smoky kind of business. No matter which oil you use, so don't get tied up with the whole, oh gosh, Chris, using olive oil and the smoke points and yo, stop that. Just stop that, all right? No matter which oil you use, it will get smoky because this is very high heat. Anyhow, we're almost there. I have the seasoned duck wings close at hand. Now be very careful if this is your first time doing this sort of brown stew method because you add it too rough and that's going to jump back at you and that's going to burn your skin. So use a long spoon or, or whatever, but just be careful, all right? We're almost there. We're almost there. Turn the fan on over your stove, open up the window, all kind of thing like that. And here is where we're going to start adding the duck wings. Give that a good stir and add the rest of it. Pull back on there. You're going to add a cup of water to that. Now keep in mind the heat is still on high and what we want to do is to sort of get that deep rich color and that flavor from that stew. So to achieve that, what we have to do at this point is to put the lid on there and bring that up to a boil. It's been about three minutes and I've already stirred it once. Heat's still on high and when I said come up to a boil, notice how it's releasing all its own juices. Turn the heat down to medium because we want to develop that flavor. And if we burn up the liquid too soon, we won't. But at some point, we will burn up that liquid if you, if you know anything about making a sort of brown stew. But for now, heat on medium, lid back on, and let that go for about five minutes. I just took the lid off again there. It's been about five minutes since the lid has been on. You can crank the heat up to high now because we want to burn off all that liquid on the bottom there. And in doing so, intensify the flavor as well as the color of the this will help with the finished braised duck wings to give it that lovely rich color later on. So, a little bit of patience here, yeah? And it doesn't take long to burn off that liquid. Notice how sticky it is on the bottom there. I can almost scrape all that stickiness there. And if you notice, the color we've developed here as well too is just screaming niceness right at your face right now. So here is where we're gonna start introducing some more flavors. And I've got a scotch bonnet pepper cut in half because I want these not only braised and tender but I want it spicy as well if spicy is not your thing meow anyhow you can avoid using that we need some garlic some nice big cloves of garlic we got three six cloves of garlic in there we need two pieces of ginger one more piece of garlic to keep that Dracula away we ain't trying to encourage blood sucking we've got some fresh thyme and I want some fresh ground peppercorn, big greens. Right in there like that so. And I hit that a stir, scrape the bottom there, pick up all that nice fond on the bottom there. Yeah, we're creating fond too. It's not only the fancy French people and their nice recipes have fun, you know. We have fun too, man. Not fun, eh? All right. Give that a nice little quick stir there. Now remember that scotch butter pepper. Let's talk about that for a second. Wash your hands with soap and water after. If you do not, and you touch your piggy, man, you'll be in pain, trust me. Forget the eye at this point, but the piggy be worried about. The seeds and everything there, cut that out if you're worried about the heat, toss that out. That's where most of that heat is gonna be. Now we need water. Remember that bowl we marinated the duck wings in? Still heat, still on high. We're going in with that water. So in total, I'll do a cup and a half of water. And we got one more little ingredient we gotta to toss in there. Just to nice it up this, uh, this further. And that ingredient is orange juice. That is straight out of a package. That's not freshly squeezed, but it is organic. Give that a stir. Tuck those wings down under that liquid there. Just make it nice and flat. Bring that up to a boil. Then we're gonna reduce the heat and let it sim, 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 simmer until it's nice and tender and sticky and we wanted braised. This braised duck wings all they came here for, you know. Hoping you can hear that blub blub going on right inside there. Now as far as flavor is concerned, we're not done yet. We need to tuck one. And we're going to tuck in two bay leaves in there. Turn the heat down all the way down to low. Put that lid on there and let that gently do its thing. It's been going for about an hour and a half. 
most of my liquid is gone now and I've stirred it maybe three or four times already notice that lovely color we got I'm just gonna scrape the bottom a little bit and here's where you're gonna taste it for salt adjust it and make sure it's nice and tender if it's not tender enough to your liking what you need to do at this point is add some more water in there and allow that to continue cooking if you're adding more water make sure it's boiling water so you're not shocking the wings but this is done this is done all you would do then is serve this up with some fresh scallions on there something fresh nice and green a little bit of um, <clears throat> a little bit of lime juice and you, 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 you're golden man you know what I mean braised duck wings you're gonna love this recipe, you know? I highly encourage you to give this one a try.